welcome to the cricket pre-match or pre-training warm-up. We're going to be upregulating your controlling systems. So at the end of the warm-up, your speed, your strength, your stability, and mobility would be improved. So you can follow along with me. We're going to start with the sensory warm-up. And this is how it goes. First thing you're going to do, close your eyes as if you're washing your face. Ten times, then you take your fingers, press into your eyeballs, do ten circles. Then you're going to comb your hair, stimulating your scalp. All right. You might find some tender spots in there. This will help to get rid of those. All right. Next thing we're going to do, the back of your head. There's a little big nugget, big bump there. Slide your fingers off the bump to each side. You'll feel two smaller bumps. And you're going to do ten circles there. Uh, you'll feel, be feeling pretty good right about now. Now, next thing you're going to do, touching all over your air, starting with your air lobes. And just keep going. Ten times. Next, we're going to move right now where you swallow. Then we move to the chest, to the shoulders. Just make sure you get all over those shoulders. On both sides. Then you go up and down your hands your arms. And do it on the other side. Now we're going to move to the rib cage. And below the rib cage, belly button, below the belly button. And then we're going to go down the back of the leg. Oh, before we get to the back of the legs, we're going to go behind the back. And this is what it looks like. Right here, you place your, your fist. And then we're going to go down the back of the legs and up the middle. All right. Next, we're going to do this one. Depends on if you, how much you can balance. You either could do the sitting or standing and under the bottom of your foot, you take your thumb and you rub it all over the bottom of your feet. Work those arches, any tender areas or hard areas. All right? And you do that on both sides. Alright, so we're done with the sensory warm-up. Now we're going to move the upregulating that balance system. And we're going to start, I'm using this little stick right here. It has letters on it. You can use a pen. You can use your thumb. And what I'm going to do, first what I'm going to do, I'll focus my eyes on a letter on the stick and I'll move my head while keeping the stick stationary 
and my eyes stay on the stick. So you're going to go like this. Five, then you go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The other direction, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, and then straight up, straight down. All right, key thing, you wanna make sure that target stays clear throughout. If it's not clear, then you wanna see me to make sure we can get it to do things so you can see it, see it clearer. Okay, now we're gonna to move to where we're gonna be moving our head and arm together. Your eyes and head and neck is tracking. We're going in every direction, so we're going like this. All right, three to five reps in every direction. And now we're gonna move on to the integrated version. And I'm gonna be using this ball. Now, as a cricketer, you can use, do this movement. The first, the basic one of this movement is standing with your feet together holding the ball arm's length, keeping your eyes focused on the target and the ball. And you're doing it like this. In each direction. Now as a cricketer, you can then take this to your stance. So as a batter, for example, you're a right-handed batter, for example, like I am, and you hold the ball out there, and you all right. So, or start off with your feet together, and you do it like that. Which is more difficult and take it back the other way. Right. Okay. Now we're going to move to the eyes. We're going to first do an eye mobility drill. So, what you can, how this works, keeping your head still, moving your eyes in every direction, holding for five to 10 seconds. So you will, I like to have people keep their hand on the chin so their head is not moving. And you could start looking up as far right as you can for five, then looking down as far left as you can for five, up left, for five, down right, for five, to the right, for five, to the left, for five, straight up, for five, straight down, For five. Once you do that, now we're going to do eye circles. Beginning eye circles, you can do it in a nice neutral stance like this. Keep your head still and you're following the target.
in both directions. Now, as a cricketer, let's say a batter, for example, you get into a batting stance and you do the same thing. Again, we're doing three to five reps of each movement. Now we're going to do what we call a near far drill, where I'm going to be looking at this close target and then switch my eyes from the close target to targets in the distance and switch back and forth. Do about five to ten of them, this one. So I'm here. Now we're going to move on to another eye drill and we call these pursuits. So again, I can start off being in a nice neutral stance and I can, I'm looking at the letters on this thing and I'm going from middle, from eye level down like that. Right now, I can do this that way, also. I can do it diagonally that way. Right then, I showed you this in neutral. Then, as a, as a cricketer, you can do it in your fielding. Stance where you or you can do it in a batting stance. Like that. So you can do these in all different cricket specific positions, which I would encourage you to do. Now we're gonna move on to Another one, what we call saccades, and we'll be using our fingers. So if I'm standing here, I'm looking directly at the camera, and every time I move a finger, my eye shoots over to that side. Move the finger, my eye shoots over there. Back to the camera, back to the All right, so you wanna do about five to 10 of those. Always starting, looking at the target in the distance, and as soon as you move the finger, you move your eyes back and forth. And that's called saccades. Again, these, you want to be able to do them, you want to do them in different cricket specific positions. You know, like in a batting stance, in a fielding stance, bowling stance, you know. You want to be able to do all of these in those positions so you can because at the end of the day, it's about cricket specific positions where you have to function, not standing just neutral all the time. So you wanna make sure those things are working just as well when you're standing in neutral as when you're moving your head in different directions and your body in different directions. All right, so now we're gonna move on to using our respiration to upregulate that stability and you're going to be inhaling three deep inhalations on the non-dominant side of your body, of your rib cage. So for me, it's my left. So I would inhale, fill up that rib cage, front, side, and back, and let it relax and then exhale. Fill it all the way up to the top and then relax and do that three times and then relax <clears throat> now we're going to move into some more fun parts this mobility mobility stability strength speed warm-up cricket warm-up so now we're going to move into doing some nerve glides so we're going to do some nerve glides 
all those nerves that innervate those muscles in your legs so your muscles can contract better, so that joints will move better, you'll be stronger. Same thing we'll do for the upper body. So let's start. We're gonna start with the lower body. So first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna stand, you're gonna pull, pull your foot up. And I'm gonna just demonstrate these on one, one side. Pull your foot up, rotate your ankle out. Keep your trunk straight, bend at your hips. You feel a slight stretch. On a scale of one to 10, only a three. That stretch sensation should be. You hold that position there, and then you bend and straighten your knee five times. That's one. Then we do it where we, we point the foot down, turn it in, curl the toes, same bending with the straight trunk. Three to uh, on a scale of one to ten again, three, and you uh, five times bend and straighten your knee. And the last, well, not the last one. Then you pull up again and rotate in, pull the toes up, bend there, a three sensation, and bend and straighten your knees. Now, if you look from the side, this is what it would look like. All right. And you want to do that on both sides. Now we're going to move on to another one. We'll be using this leg as the working where that nerve is. So I'm doing on this leg. You get down into a lunge. You're going to take your tail and tuck it under, right? You're going to hold that position so you feel a little stretch here. You're going to side bend to this front leg. You're going to rotate, and then you're going to do five of those. And... The last one we'll do for the upper body is where we're we gonna be in this lunge like this. Rotate the pelvis forward so you feel a nice straight down the groin area. Side then, rotate and do five of these. Those are your lower body nerve glides. Now we're going to go to the upper body. First one, put your finger across palms, hold your fingers over, take the wrist, bend it towards here, your lower upper arm, rotate your shoulder, pull your shoulder blade down, and you hold that position, you side bend your neck away, and you feel that little three sensation right around here. And you, you do circle, keeping the shoulder blade down, you do five circles in each direction. You shake it out. Next one, we spread our fingers, pull our fingers up, pull the wrist up, lock the elbow, Rotate the elbow out, pull the shoulder blade down. You should feel a little sensation in your thumb and your index finger. And then you can add a little more with the side bend away and same thing. Five circles, five, three to five, in each direction. You shake it out. Last one, I'll demonstrate on this hand. You're lifting up like you're carrying a waiter, is carrying a tray. You bring the elbow out to the side, pull the shoulder blade down, side bend away. You feel this in the pinky and the ring finger, and you show the circles in each direction. And those are your nerve glides. So now we're going to move to the mobility drills, which should be really fun, some really interesting ones. All right, first one we're gonna do, 
we're going to be working on this joint below your, your two ankle bones called the malleoli. So first one, you bring the foot forward and you roll your ankle out and then you roll it in five times. The back leg, same thing. Roll the ankle out and then roll it in. Switch, roll the ankle out, and roll it in. Back leg, same thing, roll it out, and then roll it in. All right, now we're going to move to what we call a toe pull. We're working joints here, here, and here on the foot. So from the side, looks like this, curl my toes, keep your toes out of the way. You can put something soft and place your foot on it and you are going to be taking, pushing your instep towards the floor, it looks like that. Then you're going to roll the ankle, the foot out, you do the same thing, now you're pushing the ankle bone to the floor. And then you anchor the side of your foot, your, the guided big toe, and you're going to be taking the heel towards the other heel. And that's called toe pulls. Just demonstrate on just this one leg. Gotta move on to the next drill, and you want to do this in both sides. You move on, move on to the next drill which is the ball of foot circle, or no, let me just go through this with you. I want you to follow along with me, both sides. And roll the ankle out, put that ankle bone towards the floor or malleoli, and then you anchor, and you anchor at the big toe and move the heel towards the other heel. Now we're going to go to the ball of the foot circle in that nice lunge position. So I'm standing on the ball of my foot and I'm drawing a, an oval at that, in that area in both directions. At no time, my heel touches the floor. So I'll show it to you on the right leg. Now we're going to go to the ankles. You're going to lift up your hip and do your ankle circles five in each direction. Don't look at your ankle. Look straight ahead while doing this. And then you take it behind. We're going to move to the knee and we're going to bring that knee forward so this is the working leg and we're going to draw a D lock the knee out and we're going in both directions Now we're going to move to the hips. This is the working hip, the back hip. The knee stays bent throughout. We're going to be doing little knee circles. This knee is never straightening. It stays bent. And we're working the back hip. We go in both directions. 
So you feel that nice stretch in the front of the hip. And you do it. Now, as a cricketer, I want to add this movement to where you're going to be in a lateral position. So again, this is the working and you and you shift over to the other side. All right. So now we're going to move on now to the lumbar spine and we're going to be in a nice sports stance and we're going to be bending when we lean in the space where my hand is located that's the area you're working so we're here we side bend to the right and we come around moving in that area just as my pelvis wants to move i want to go back and drop in again. All right. Now look at it from the side view. Now we're going to move to the middle of our back. We're going to do this in the lunge position. So for cricketers, this is what we're doing. Taking this chest bone up and out, and down and in. So you're moving that middle of your back between your shoulder blades. And we're also going to be doing where you're going to be moving this area in a circle in both directions now we're going to do it in a lunge so i'm going to take the the leg forward i'm going to rotate my trunk to the lunging leg do three of those and then i'm going to Do three in each direction. All right. Now from side view, rotate. And then I'm going to Now we're going to move up to the neck and we're going to do the neck one and again in a nice fielding stance but again you can do it in a batting stance or you can do it in a bowling stance right so we're going to do this in a fielding stance so we're in a fielding position right and we're going to So now we're going to move to the shoulders and you're going to be doing like a, you're going to be drawing a figure eight, taking your shoulders through what I'm doing right here. Drawing a figure eight. Then you go in the opposite direction. All right. I'll do it from the side. All right, 
jiggery. Now we're gonna do what we call a camshaft for your shoulder blades. And it looks like this. We're gonna do it, it looks where you, the four movements of your shoulder blade, which you're using this bone right here to elevate, to bring it towards your spine, to pull it down and take it away from your spine. So we're gonna combine those, but in different arm positions. As quick as a throwing sport, we'll have it here. And then we go in the opposite direction. And we're gonna take it, the finish of the throw, Now, on the other side, if you look at it from the side, and finish. Shoulders are loose. Now we're gonna go to the elbows and the wrists. So you have the elbow out there, and we're going block out, roll the shoulder, roll the shoulder forward and back, and then that's for your elbows. So I look at it from the side. we do for the wrist. Keep your elbows at your side. Four wrist movements, up, down, in, out. So you join them all and make a circle, keeping your palms facing down throughout. Now we're going to move on to an integrated mobility drill for, for cricketers, particularly in the throwing and for the bowling movements, your hips. So your front leg, as I'm a right-hander, my left leg is pointed forward towards where our target is. My back leg is parallel to the line or the crease, if you want to say that. I bring my arm up, my elbow is above my shoulder. Now, a couple things, when I move, bring my hips forward, my elbow should not be moving at the same time. It's something called arm lag, that's really important. The hips move so you get that maximum stretch. Now, part of getting the maximum stretch is not only moving the elbow back, it's moving the spine, bringing that chest bone up and out. So you get a nice stretch across there. So you got that, that stretch, that stretch to let it go. Same thing with the bowl. So the hip mobility is important. So you're putting all those three movements together. So when I go here, every time I move my hip, my elbow is going in the opposite direction. Then I bring it in my spine into it. Right, that's for the arm lag. So if I'm doing it on the other side, elbow above my shoulder, and elbow goes in opposite direction of the hip, and my spine goes up at the same time. Those are the warm-ups, the mobility drills for cricket. Now, we're gonna do a couple more things. 
The next one, what we're going to do is called the level ball drill. This is a great for warming up that tracking as the curve. So I have letters drawn all across the ball. Now, cricket guys would obviously do this on a cricket ball. And if you're doing it by yourself, it looks like this. I'm throwing it against the wall there. So when I throw the ball, I watch the letter and I call the letter out. So I watch the letter. D. D. X. D. U. Watch it straight into my hands. So that's how you can do it by yourself. Now we're going to move into a couple of strengthening drills for your feet and your legs. So you're going to do ball squats on the ball of your feet like that. So your heel never touches the floor. So you want to do about 10 of these. So looking from the side. Right, so you want to do about 10 of those. And then you're gonna do walking lunges on the ball of your feet. So you're landing on the ball of the feet, doing walking lunges, 10 on each, each leg. Then you can do what we call walking squ squats forward and back. So you're here, you're walking forward and back in the squat position. Then the last one is where you're here, feet pointing straight, and you're stepping to the side in both directions, keeping those feet straight, doing 10 in each direction. And finally, we're going to do a muscle tension, whole body tension and relaxation. Because often athletes don't know if they can put tension in every part of their body. So there's one way you can train yourself to do that. Now, this is for cricket. So even though you can start in a neutral stance from your foot up, so you're gripping the toes, tensing the toe, the, the foot, all the way up your shins, your calves, your quads, the hamstrings, the butt, pulling in towards your spine, all the trunk muscles, shoulder, neck, down the arms, fingers, forearms, and then let it go. Now, that's cool to be able to do it that way. But I want you to be able to do it in a batting stance. Turn your head and you in your in your batting stance and you do the same thing all the way up your body. Butt, trunk, shoulders, forearms, neck, and let it go. Do about two reps those. And you will be ready for your match or your training in way better than before you started because your stability, your mobility, your strength and speed would be enhanced as a result of this warm up. Enjoy.